There are no strings on me. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Connor Japan Rebecca here back with another video for you guys today. Today we are here with the Milano 821 in Warzone. This was previously one of the worst weapons you could possibly be using in Warzone, but with the recent buff, this thing got some pretty nice changes to it. Its base damage increased by quite a decent margin. Uh, and this weapon certainly did move up in the ranks in terms of uh ranking the best SMGs in the game. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys showing the love and support. Let's get right into today's setup. So, first attachments that I like to use for pretty much every weapon is gonna be the HNC suppressor. You could additionally go for the Silicon Eliminator, but suppressor is just way better in this case, so that's why I decided to roll with this one. Moving on, the next attachment that we have is going to be the Task Force Barrel. Um, now, it does say that you're losing a lot of recoil with the Task Force Barrel, but you're really not losing that much. This weapon pretty much has no recoil, so using the last barrel is really not going to affect you too much, but you are getting that massive boost to your range and also stray speed and bullet velocity with this weapon. Furthermore, the next attachment that I like to rock is going to be the SAS Combat Stock. This is going to give you more uh, firing move speed and also just allow it so that way you can strafe more with this weapon. Kind of giving you a little bit more mobility with the weapon, uh, even though it's an SMG. So you technically don't really need it, but it's just nice to be able to strafe a lot faster than a normal person. Moving on, next attachment that I like to rock is going to be the 55 round drum. Now, you could go with the 45 speed mag, but the ADS speed on this weapon is actually a little bit on the slow side for an SMG. So, 55 round drum will be more than enough to handle uh, pretty much a whole squad. Uh, and on top of that, you'll be giving yourself more time to reload your weapon if you need to. Um, and on top of that, you get 55 rounds. So. And lastly, the last attachment that I like to use is going to be the SFLD Speed Grip. You can also use the Field Agent. They're both very good options, but um, SFLD uh, Speed Grip may be a little bit better for those that don't want to lose too much movement speed while still gaining a decent uh, amount of recoil control. But uh, without further ado, we got some nice highlights from uh, multiple games of Warzone here, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We're in a little bit of a predicament. Enemy marked. I'm taking fire. You need to stop. Yeah, you screwed that one up, buddy. That's why I'm not pushing out, bro. Really asking for a death sentence going there. Sorry, buddy. I'm 
it? Mm-hmm. I can't see it. What time do you want to leave? Uh, let me hear your time first and I'll figure it out. I'm going to say 12.15. I'm just going to get to the That's another 45 minutes from uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter what time you leave. Uh, I'll, I'll make time. Yeah, it's, it's not going to make a difference because. Oh my goodness, dude. No way that guy just let me turn on him like that. Actually a camping bastard. Gotcha. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe 
Bounty target is down. Well done. 